Hello learners, I am Dr. Mridushmita Dwara, Assistant Professor of Social Work, KK Hendrick State Open University. I welcome you all to this class of the course that is of Bachelor of Social Work 5th semester. The name of the course is Health and Mental Health. Of this particular course, today we will be discussing an important aspect that is medical social work. So before we start with this class, uh, I would like to let you all know that in this class we will be discussing the basic concept of what is medical social work, the concept of community health and how a social worker can contribute to the medical social work field. So let us move on with the first concept that is community health. Community health is termed bringing into two concepts together that make an umbrella term that is health and community. World Health Organization in the year 1947, they have given a definition that health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity. In the context of community health, a community is a group of people who have common characteristics. Uh, communities can be defined as per the location, race, ethnicity, different age groups, occupation, interest in particular problems or outcomes of common beliefs. They have something which is called a community bond. So that is what defines of the term community. Now a healthy community is a place where people provide leadership in assessing their resources and needs, where the public health and the social infrastructure and policies support health and welfare of the general public. It is essential that public health services including quality health care are available. So that is about the concept of community health. It refers to the health status of a defined group of people and the actions and conditions both private and public and the public meaning governmental to promote, protect, preserve their health. For example, the health status of the people of Majuli in Assam, uh, it's, a, it's the biggest riverine island in the world, and the private and public actions taken to promote, protect, preserve the health of this community that is given the example of Majuli would contribute to community health of the people living in that particular island. So that was an example. So community health activities are those activities that are aimed to protecting or improving the health of a population or community. Maintenance of accurate birth and death records and also the maternal, uh, uh, maternal records, protection of the flood, water supply, participating in fund drives for voluntary health organizations such as, uh, for example, maybe lung association are examples of community health activities. Also an example would be if you conduct a maternal health camp or an you know, uh, uh, eye, eye camp for the elderly. So these are examples of community health activities where the people of the community participate uh, or, and they make a, a program participatory in nature regarding the health concerns of the particular people living in a particular community. So uh, if we keep these things in mind, we will uh, be sure that factors that influence community health are many. It is not only physical or geographical, but also social uh, and then individual behavior, the economy of a particular community, the economy in which a particular community is situated, the political environment, all these things influence the community health of a particular community. There are uh, many a great factors that affect the health of a community. As a result, the health status of every community is different. For example, if you uh, consider the health uh, status of a developed nation, the community situated there uh, and that to a second world country or a developing country, all the community health factors or health status will differ from each other. These factors may be physical, social, cultural and many other aspects. It will be impacted by various aspects. This also include the ability of the people to organize and work together as a whole 
or as a community with togetherness as well as the individual behaviors of these community affect the overall community health now coming to the different factors we will be discussing firstly the physical factors the physical factors in include the influences of geography the environment community state and the industrial development geographical factors a community's health problems can be directly influenced by its attitude the altitude of the particular land uh, and how accessible it is to the general you know health infrastructure the infectious diseases that might be uh, you know more people might be more vulnerable to certain infectious diseases and leading to community health problems therefore the geographical location of a particular community is also very important the quality of our environment is directly related to the quality of our ownership over it many experts believe that if we continue to allow uncontrolled population growth in a particular uh, land there will be population explosion and also it will deplete the non renewable natural resources therefore our succeeding generations will face a lot of crisis and in this it will affect the overall community health therefore protecting the environment and not exploiting it not exploiting the soil water and air resources will lead to a healthy environment for a community and therefore it will contribute to a healthy community health the larger the community size the greater is range of health problems and the greater the number of health resources for example larger communities have more health professionals better health facilities than smaller communities that we can take the example of you know a, a semi semi urban area and an urban area an urban community a semi urban community or a rural community in this uh, particular keeping this example in mind we will we know that the health benefits the health infrastructure differ from place to place also the economy of the particular region how developed it is the industrial development the socio cultural factors the cultural beliefs religious uh, practices and traditional medicines and practices all influence the community health because the religious beliefs also uh, the the traditional practices of medicine that is alternative medicine will uh, again be different from that of the latest development in the medicine industry so therefore all these things might come in conflict now it is on the community's discretion to decide on which particular form of uh, you know medication or treatment or health uh, uh, facilities to be utilized by a particular community the individual behavior also individual behavior of every member of the community will also impact the community health in an overall way so coming to the community health programs the main objectives of community health programs are basically to reduce the threat of you know uh, infectious infectious diseases by creating safe environment for local people and the medical professionals need to be updated to reduce the risk factors and to enhance the protective factors of non communicative diseases and injuries by promoting a healthy lifestyle and environment is important for a community health program so there are different uh, or diverse forms of community health programs that we will be discussing in the coming uh, sections so uh, to empower the vulnerable groups of people with the support of their families and communities by promoting social activities is important under any uh, community health program lastly to strengthen the capacity of a local health sector which would contribute to the improvement of accessibility of healthcare and uh, amplify the quality of medical services is important for any community health program so we see that community health programs play a very important role in uh, making sure that we have a co good community health status in our country or in the community so coming to community health programs in india uh, we know that people's access to healthcare education the condition of work leisure determine their chances of living their full lives or to have a fulfilling life 
addressing rural health concerns through the national rural health mission earlier uh, it was known as in nrhm and now it is known as national health mission that is nhm was based on the principle of convergence with other determinants like water sanitization and nutrition so we know that when we talk about health as a whole and that too when the concept of community health comes in the other aspects the important aspects like water how clean is the water that we have access to uh, or the water that we are drinking or using in our food and also for sanitization and nutrition all these together play an important role in the community health status so in india the nhm had a holistic approach or perspective because it took into note uh, it took into consideration all these various aspects the nihm also adopted the model of asha that is accredited social health activists asha workers and the auxiliary nursing midwives who function as community health workers it seeks the convergence with the ministry of women and child developments icd that is the integrated child development services which also utilizes the services of anganwadi child that is child care centers and anganwadi workers to increase its outreach because in the anganwadi uh, anganwadi system we know that the children are looked after and also provided uh, nutrition and other essential needs are fulfilled through the anganwadi system therefore asha workers play an important role also other community uh, health programs in india the health workers were primarily drawn from the community itself therefore there was more participation and involvement of the community workers it derived a tremendous impact on others and neglected uh, health concerns due to certain inaccessibility of medical services like immunization self delivery and contraception or nutrition therefore all these aspects were given awareness about about the different medical services the immunization system that are important then safe deliveries then use of contraceptions or nutritional values of different food items how uh, food should be more uh, nutritional in nature how it can be you know we can include different forms of diet all these were given training under this different schemes one of the examples of community health programs initiated in india is the rajiv gandhi mahila vikas prayojana which functions as the model of community ownership and participation by the women therefore women uh, work as the directly work as health activists in their own community therefore there is empowerment there is participation of the com- uh, women of belonging to those communities it uh, brings a sense of responsibility and fulfillment among them it aims to help the poor women in rural areas of uh, to get empowered in the form of self help groups shgs through community institutions therefore it played an important role in empowering process the recent development in formulating community health programs has also started making an effort to create social behavior change that is sbc and initiatives to accelerate healthy behavioral changes some of them are like safe sex use of contraception hand washing use of ors benefits of breast feeding then uh, you know uh, making sure that menstrual cycle is you know uh, ensured that it is safe and uh, and cleanliness is maintained all these are given training to both male and the female sections of the society therefore these community programs are important for the uh, for ensuring community health now when we have talked about these different community health aspects Uh, we realize that how important medical social work is so who are medical social workers medical social workers are those trained social workers who uh, will be specializing in the field of medical health and hospital settings uh, psychiatric settings and also inpatient and outpatient departments of the hospitals uh, to work in rehabilitations to work with people with disability and various other forms of uh, fields of social work that where medical social workers are important 
मेडिकल सोशल वर्क इज द एप्लीकेशन एंड एडोपन ऑफ मेथड्स एंड फिलोसफी ऑफ सोशल वर्क इन द फील्ड ऑफ हेल्थ एंड मेडिकल केयर सो मेडिकल सोशल वर्क मेक्स सिलेक्टेड एंड एक्सटेंडेड व्यूज ऑफ डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ सोशल वर्क नॉलेज एंड मेथड्स विच आर पर्टिकुलरली रेलिवेंट टू पीपल हेल्पिंग पर्सन हु हैव हेल्थ एंड मेडिकल प्रॉब्लम्स नॉट ओनली हेल्पिंग द पेशेंट डायरेक्टली बट ऑल्सो वर्किंग इन क्लोज कोलेबरेशन विद द फैमिलीज इन डिस्ट्रेस बिकॉज दे हैव सम वन हु इज नॉट वेल और फेसिंग सीरियस इलनेस इन द फैमिली मेडिकल सोशल वर्कर्स आर रेस्पन्सिबल फॉर इंटीग्रेटिंग केयर विद द पेशेंट्स पर्सनल लाइफ एंड सपोर्ट सिस्टम्स एरियाज दे डू नॉट फॉल अंडर द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ यू नो ऑफ डॉक्टर्स एंड नर्सेज ओनली मेडिकल सोशल वर्कर्स फॉर्म अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम to the family to the patient who are having health crisis this means that assessing the impact of all social financial emotional cognitive and environmental financial and other support needs of the patients communicating with the different systems or different departments or liaisoning with different uh, departments is very important so to the external systems such as home care establishing plans for uh, you know continued um, treatment care and well being of the patient all these are important role of a medical social worker who are going to guide the family the pa- patient in dealing with the health crisis social workers entered the healthcare arena to increase the access to healthcare services of the poor and in need managing a chronic or a terminal condition which is a very shocking and you know uh, a very um, depressing phase for the entire family or for the patient it becomes exponentially very important for patients with barriers such as mental illness who are substance dependents who have you know a huge financial incurrence due for treatment housing uh, instability low income socio economic uh, families and then inadequate access to healthcare all these families and patients have uh, have the need to have access to different healthcare uh, facilities and also financial assistance so in this particular phase comes the important role of a medical social worker it is the application adoption of the method and philosophy of social work in the field of health and medical care branch the so therefore medical social work is an important branch of social work that deals with the social physical psychological aspects of the patients and the patient's family social work in the medical setting is important here using relevant social skills knowledge to help the patients is an important task of a medical social worker so medical social work considers human health with the broad perspective the treatment is not the final solution for illness in medical social work but the disease and the diseased person or someone who is not well and needs you know a, a lot of a, a prolonged treatment and prolonged financial support so they are very different from uh, the other aspects we know that uh, when we look at a medical crisis or health crisis there are different factors that come into play there is emotional uh, you know depression then also financial instability a sense of insecurity that sets in among the patient and the family members and it is basically a crisis situation for the entire family so here the medical social workers play an important role medical science gives emphasis on the disease but ignores the other aspects the other important ex- uh, uh, impor- aspects like the the emotional need of the diseased person what could be the turmoil of the family members so medical social work studies not only the disease the person the psychological aspect but also the social aspect and the emotional needs of the family and the diseased person or uh, the person or the patient medical social work deals with the prevention of disease by creating awareness and if the disease still occurs after care of the patients is important that is known as the social rehabilitation process of a patient so social rehabilitation is something which medical social work looks into 
so it is uh, we know that medical social work is not only limited to the treatment process but also how a person is adjusting or accepting the disease or or the treatment that one needs to go through so these are important aspects of a medical social work domain so uh, social work in the medical field was first introduced in the year 1936 by dr clifford who was an american missionary and started a formal training uh, of social work program in india through the dorabji tata graduate school of social work in mumbai that is now known as tiss tata institute of social sciences in mumbai in 1946 the first medical social worker was appointed in jj hospital bombay and from 1960s onwards the scope of medical social workers has been increased in india today uh, about almost majority of the teaching institutions and medical universities have conducted pg program in social work and you know how social workers are important in a medical field in the northeast india it is still gaining importance slowly and also in other uh, you know mainstream india um, in many places uh, especially in south and uh, that is in uh, in kerala as i know they have established uh, the important uh, uh, role of medical social workers in their hospitals and in the inpatient and the outpatient departments of the hospitals So Tata Institute of Social Science is the first pioneering uh, institute in earlier that had less uh, created awareness and practice in the field of medical social work. So uh, since we have talked about how the social medical social workers play an important role and why their role is indispensable for the well-being of the patients and the patient's family let us discuss some of the settings in which medical social workers can work in the hospice and rehabilitation and emergency setup uh, medical social workers play an important role how the patients need a uh, need to be rehabilitated in the emergency uh, section for where when example a patient is brought is brought in in the uh, through, uh, after an accident or after you know a person has reached the last stage of a deadly disease in all these crisis situation the medical social worker plays an important role in the inpatient and outpatient department the medical social workers help the family of the patient to understand the hospital uh, formalities to have access to the financial in, in if they have insurances you need to connect them to the different insurances and then help the you know the link in providing financial assistance for the treatment of their patient these are important roles that are done by medical social workers so why is a social work degree important to carry out these activities because in medical social work when a person is being trained in the field of medical social work he or she is given training about the different diseases of the about the different uh, you know medical terms the complexity of the diseases and other things in uh, and these are inbuilt in the curriculum of social work in the medical field in the medical and psychiatric field therefore the person who is a trained medical social worker is aware of the kind of diseases of the kind of treatment that might be required and also once the medical social worker is appointed under any hospital or any department of a hospital they are given training as to how the different formalities are to be done so after getting the training they in turn help the families of the patient and also uh, maybe the patient directly and tell him or her about how the things need to be done the formalities need to be done and what is going to be the line of treatment that we needs to be communicated with the doctor so the medical social worker act, acts as a liaisoning person between the medical team and the family of the patient so that there is clear communication about the line of treatment that is going to take place in community health centers the uh, medical social workers play an important role creating awareness about the different diseases how it can be prohibited and then uh, how treatment can be done of particular 
diseases of certain uh, bad habits like smoking, drinking and tobacco consumption, all these things are given awareness by medical social workers. In working with persons with dif disability, uh, so, uh, medical social workers help the persons with disability and their families have access to the different government schemes, have access to the different financial assistances that are provided. So, persons with disability who might, uh, who will have a lot of problem in having access to the different schemes and benefits and first of all to be aware of the different schemes and benefits and how uh, to proceed forward with all the formalities in getting access to the schemes is uh, assisted by a medical social worker. So, in working with persons with disability, medical social workers have a huge role to play. So, also there are medical and psychiatric departments in hospitals. Uh, psychiatric social workers can give treatment, therapeutic, uh, you know, treatment to the patients. And medical social workers can guide the patients and the families in how to have access to these different treatment lines. Social work in different departments of hospitals to work as a team with the doctors and the nurses so that the patients and the family feel a sense of you know um, assisted or support from the medical social workers is an important aspect of this particular field. The role of medical social worker also is to make the patients and the families aware of their rights. The patient's rights in healthcare are something which are, you know, not given much importance in our country and it is, uh, it is something which is hardly discussed. So medical social workers need to create awareness or let the patient's family and the patient know that you have certain rights in the healthcare uh, during your treatment. So to maintain transparency or to maintain a clear line of treatment as to what is going to be the next step and where you are going to have access to in the coming step, in the coming treatment, all these things need to be clearly communicated to the family or to the patient directly. So these are some of the important roles of medical social workers. In this uh, class, I have focused on mainly community health, the community health programs in India and the role of medical social workers. The role of psychiatric social workers is very much different from that of medical social workers. Uh, psychiatric social workers provide direct treatment to psychiatric issues faced by the patients. So in this class, we have stick to the role of medical social workers, which is mainly the liaisoning and uh, you know bringing up a support system for the patient and the patient's family is the main focus of medical social work. Thank you so much.